Madeleine King, the Federal Minister for Resources, will decide who gets the money. But the critical minerals and rare earths on display in her office are a clue she knows how important this is. I think a lot of people would be surprised that China has all these processed rare earths that we can't make fighter jets without. Well, that is why we're developing a rare earth industry here in Australia, because we need to have more availability of those uh, processed minerals to make more of the products here uh, and with our partners uh, in, the, in the region so that we are not vulnerable to others and other interests. That's exactly the purpose. We now need to compete and we need to catch up. Aluka Resources in Western Australia has already received government help. A massive $1.25 billion to build the first rare earths processing refinery outside of Asia. But Dan McGrath says the money comes with an important condition. Did the company go to the government and say, look, we've got this stockpile can we get some money to actually build a refinery? Otherwise, we're going to just ship it off to China and take a quick buck? I think it kind of happened a little more organically. It, it is a loan and it's paid back and with interest and it is to build the refinery because it's about building an industry. Is it a condition of the $1.25 billion loan that you don't sell that stockpile? Um, that is the most important condition of the finance facility is that the stockpile is produced through the refinery. It's hoped the refinery, when built, will encourage other mining companies to stop selling their precious resources to China and start processing here instead. So at the end of 2026, Australia will finally have a place where we can get these rare earths and start to process them ourselves. It's about building sovereign capability. It's about bringing modern manufacturing back to Australia instead of picking up material out of the ground and, and selling it to China.